Three albums, two number one hits, chart numbers going crazy. She wasn't just anyone, she was THE Patsy Cline. Hurt me now, get it over. She was a star with an angelic voice, but just when the world thought she was unstoppable, tragedy struck. Patsy's life was cut short in March 1963, but what exactly happened? She was born in Virginia, but hey, life wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for Patsy growing up. Nope, she faced her fair share of tough times. Money was tight and her family had to scrape by. And if that wasn't enough, family life wasn't exactly smooth sailing either. They had to move more than 19 times. Her family moved 19 times. He would go many, many places to seek work. Lots of times the young bride and the baby would be with him, and then lots of times not. But you know what they say, tough times build character, and boy did Patsy have character. Despite the challenges though, there was always one thing that kept Patsy going. Music. Even from a young age, she had this knack for singing that just couldn't be ignored. She'd belt out tunes in the local church choir, showing off her natural talent. And who could blame her? With influences like Hank Williams and Judy Garland, Patsy soaked up all sorts of sounds, blending them into their own unique style. Yep, Winchester might have been a small town, but it sure set the stage for one heck of a musical transformation for Patsy Cline, as she rose to stardom. Patsy had to hustle hard and face some serious setbacks along the way. Rejection after rejection from record labels. Yep, even someone as talented as Patsy had to hear those dreaded words, thanks but no thanks. But you know what they say, persistence pays off, and boy did it ever for Patsy. Enter Walking After Midnight. This song was like her golden ticket to the big leagues. It shut up the charts and put Patsy on the map in a big way. Suddenly, everyone was talking about this girl with the soulful voice and the heart-wrenching lyrics. And let me tell you, Patsy had a way of tugging at your heartstrings like nobody else. Her voice, pure magic. It had this raw emotional quality that just hit you right in the feels. Whether she was singing about love, heartache, or longing, you couldn't help but feel every word deep down in your soul. That's the thing about Patsy Cline. She didn't just sing songs, she told stories. And man, did she know how to make you feel every single word. It was that ability to connect with her audience on a real emotional level that set Patsy apart from the rest. And before you knew it, she was on top of the world, captivating audiences everywhere with that one-of-a-kind voice of hers. But what about her personal life? Was it as happening as her music career? This woman had her fair share of ups and downs in the love department. She tied the knot twice, first with Gerald Klein in 53, but that one didn't stick around for long. Then in 57, she found love again with Charlie Dick, with whom she had two kiddos, Julie and Randy. But hey, love isn't always a walk in the park, right? Nope, Patsy had her own set of personal challenges to deal with, despite all the professional success. Life threw her curveballs left and right, but she faced them head on with that trademark resilience of hers. And you know what kept her going through it all? Music. Yep. Even when things got tough, Patsy's passion for music never wavered. It was her rock, her solace, her escape from the chaos of everyday life. No matter what she was going through, you could always find her belting out tunes, pouring her heart and soul into every note. She lived and breathed music, and nothing could ever take that away from her, until she passed away in a tragic crash. Patsy Cline performed at Memorial Hall in KCK on March 3rd of 1963. Two days later, she died in a plane crash on her way home to Nashville. It was March 5, 1963, when tragedy struck near Camden, Tennessee. The time was around 6.20 p.m. Patsy, along with her fellow country music stars, Hawkshow Hawkins and Cowboy Coppers, were on board a plane which crashed into a forest. They were heading home to Nashville after a show. But the weather was terrible, a storm had just blown over. Reports say there were high winds and rough skies. Despite warnings, they decided to push on. The pilot, Patsy's manager Randy Hughes, was determined to make it home. It's really sad to say, but that choice ended up being a tragedy. You see, the plane ended up crashing right into a dense forest, and sadly, everyone who was on board lost their lives in an instant. It was just terrible. After the crash, experts got involved to figure out what exactly went wrong. They found that the bad weather played a big part of the disaster. Mother Nature can be pretty unpredictable sometimes. But here's the really heartbreaking part of the story. Patsy, one of the passengers, had been feeling this sense of doom for months leading up to the crash. Can you imagine? She even confided in her friends, telling them that she didn't think she'd live for much longer. It's like she had this gut feeling that something bad was going to happen. And unfortunately, she was right. 
and to make matters worse, when they finally found the crash site, it was a complete mess. Wreckage was scattered everywhere, making it even more devastating. Just a tragic situation all around. But even in the chaos, those investigators had a real puzzle on their hands. They were trying to figure out who was who among the wreckage. Now, let me tell you about Patsy. She had this little trinket, her lucky charm if you will, a confederate flag cigarette lighter that played that old tune Dixie. Can you imagine? Well, they stumbled upon that, along with her wristwatch and a belt with her name all sparkly on it. Those items were like breadcrumbs, leading them to confirm it was her. And then there were her buddies, Hawkshaw Hoggins and Cowboy Coppers. They had a few items which would eventually help identify them as well. You see, everyone's got their thing, right? Well, those belongings of theirs came in handy during the whole identification ordeal. It's like each of them had left a little trail of themselves behind, helping those investigators put the pieces together in that tragic situation. It was a tough job, but eventually they managed to put names to the victims. As the first person at the crash site explained in this video, her body was in a brutal condition, however her torso was intact, and her hair helped them identify her body. She was wedged in under a log, partly. At the very far end, her torso was always intact, and part of her head and her long black hair was identifiable reason we knew it was her. Even though Patsy's not around anymore, her impact is still felt far and wide. She's been honored with all sorts of awards and accolades, even getting inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Talk about a big deal! But it doesn't stop there. Patsy's music lives on through cover songs, media features, and heartfelt tributes. Artists of all stripes continue to pay homage to her timeless tunes, keeping her spirit alive for new generations to discover and enjoy. Yep, Patsy Cline may be gone, but her legacy? It's here to stay reminding us all of the incredible talent and passion she brought to the world of music. From her humble beginnings in Winchester, Virginia, to her rise as a country music legend, Patsy's life was nothing short of remarkable. She faced challenges head on, conquered the music scene with her soul-stirring voice, and left a lasting mark on the hearts of fans worldwide. But as they say, every story has its end, and Patsy's was tragically cut short. Even in her passing, her legacy lives on, shining brightly in the world of music history. Her songs continue to resonate, her voice still touches souls, and her spirit remains alive in the hearts of those who love her music. So here's an invitation to all you lovely viewers. Share your favorite Patsy Cline songs or memories in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the timeless talent of Patsy Cline together. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the tragic death of Patsy Cline. And while you are at it, make sure to subscribe to our channel, because we have so much more to share with you. I need